Hey guys, it's I Love Jazz 93. Um, bear with me, I have a cold, but this is Story Me and Milano. Me and Milano. And the time that he decided that he was going to rear up on me with bareback. And I would just like to point out that I did not intend for this to happen. Um, so it was not done on purpose. I probably didn't handle it as well as I should have, but please don't give me any crap for that. And yeah. You go. So this past July over the summer, it was incredibly hot. Um, and it was just me and Sarah and my mom at the barn and Sarah takes pictures. So my mom was getting her to take pictures of me and I was just, you know, flopping around the indoor mm -hmm. having fun. Then my mom was like, go outside so Sarah can get some better pictures. And I was like, okay, whatever, I'll do it. So we get outside and I start walking around and then I ask him on a trot and he does this little kick out buck thing and I'm like, no, you are perfect inside. Just because you're outside doesn't mean that you don't have to work. So I had these really like itty bitty plastic spurs on so I just like kind of kicked him in there a little bit, um, which he probably didn't like, but you know, it had to be done, had to be done. Um, so this is the first step of the, the rear. So after I kick him a little bit, you know, being like, no, you can't do that, he does this, like, mini little rear, and it's really not that bad, and I'm just kind of like, okay, whatever, you know, like, this really doesn't seem like it's going to get too much further, but, you know, things happen, so I kind of, like, you know, kick him again, and then, then Milano decides to do this, and as you can see, I'm kind of pulling it back on his reins, because, I mean, I know you're not supposed to do that. It was just, it happened really quickly and I just didn't think fast enough. And without having a saddle, it kind of, I don't know, just got to me. So I'll hold back when he reared up, but he looks happy. Then got to the massive rear. Um, I have no idea how I stayed on this, but as you can see, like I'm sitting kind of far back and I'm pulling on him. And that could be really bad because that could essentially like flip him over and you're supposed to like grab and hug their neck. But I mean, at that point, Obviously, like I said, I hadn't thought fast enough before that, enough to grab his around his neck. So then, it obviously, it was too much. So you can see I'm really pulling on his mouth, and that's not a good thing. So, <sighs> he's such an idiot. <laughs> that's all I can say. So then what field went, like, forever, Milano went down. And, I mean, I wasn't holding back or anything, but, again, I still hadn't acted the way I should have. Which, I know, I know you didn't need to think fast, I just didn't think fast enough, but... So, he landed down, all fine and nice. Like so. So, then Milano lands, and look, he looks like so chill and whatever. Um, all I was trying to do, like, I don't know if I had said so, was just trying to get him to turn around, because there's a circle in part that he always spooks at, so he kind of, like, spooked. So, I was kind of getting him to turn around and, like, trot him by it, and that's when he did it. So, I was, in this way, trying to turn him back around to that and then this is literally like just seconds after he got out of his little spaz he like went around like so perfectly like this and I mean obviously now I had like originally we were just like going outside to take pictures and now I like had to ride him and train him and whatever but then he went around so nice and oh I'm so glad he forgave me for almost killing him ah such a stupid thing to do so yeah. So Milano was really good after that, and I like to think he forgave me for almost pulling him over onto his back, which would have been really bad. And he was like absolutely perfect after that. He just, I mean, he rears and bucks a lot, but he's he's young. It really hasn't been a problem. But this one was just cool because we happened to catch it on film. But again, this is totally my mistake. Um, so just saying again that I definitely did not mean to do that. I didn't handle it right. You know, don't try to do this, okay? It's dangerous.
So thanks for watching and putting up with me, even though I sound like a mutant right now with this cold. Um, so yeah, try not to get reared up with on bareback. We are young, we run free, stay up late, we don't sleep, got our friends, got the night, we'll be up.